Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. Today I have a three day cleaning video for you starting out with washing all of our couch covers, shampooing all of our area rugs. We've had a few parties over the last couple of months so I want to really freshen everything up. I'm kind of kicking off my spring cleaning here. I also have a ton of laundry to do in this video. It was never ending. I'm going to deep clean the guest bathroom because I had company coming over the next day. Day two, I finally took care of this clutter drop zone area and reorganized my cleaning tower in the garage. A lot more laundry folding and organizing into day three, cleaning in the kids room, and then lastly, tidying the kitchen and mopping the entire house. Starting off with some music, as always, I'm going to move all of this laundry from the couch to my bed so I can take the couch covers off and get them in the washer machine early so I can get them back on because like I mentioned in the beginning, I have company coming over tomorrow so I want to make sure this is all washed and dried and put back on before then. I love this couch, it's nice and big. It can fit like everyone when we're watching TV out here. The only thing I don't like is all the feathers. Every time I do this, I have feathers everywhere. I have to vacuum multiple times in between after and then I still find feathers in random places after this. I don't know if you guys can hear that sound at the end, the music might cover it up, but I just listened back to it and I can hear like me shifting in the background. I have my big fluffy pink robe on right now. I'm all comfy. I've had the most stressful couple of days trying to get this video edited. Just my computer was crashing. I couldn't record a voiceover. Some of my clips are still missing, so fingers crossed that I make it to the end of this video. Now I'm just sweeping the inside of the couch with a broom. I just didn't feel like getting the vacuum and there's some gold confetti in the couch, of course. Then I went ahead and broke it apart so I can clean under the couch and then I'm gonna sweep all that together and vacuum under the rug before I shampoo. This was not easy. It looks graceful because everything's sped up, but this couch is very much heavy. I didn't even include the part where I put them back on because I was taking so many breaks. This alone is like a whole day worth of cleaning to me. I was so burnt out after this first day. I saw this red Jolly Rancher under the couch and immediately thought of Rue and Euphoria in that one episode. Did you guys watch the season finale? I am so mad. Sorry if that's spoiling, but I am upset. Thank you. 
I'm not sure what this was, but it was stuck in the grout. So I got some spray and my grout brush and that got it out. I actually have to do this around the house in different areas. I'll do that probably in my spring cleaning video. Before I shampoo the area rug in the living room, I wanted to start a load of the couch covers. I'm using Tide Free and Clear, like always, two pods. And then my favorite scent beads, the Gain Fireworks and the Moonlight Breeze scent is my favorite. This is key for washing my couch covers. It makes it smell so good for so long. So for the carpets, I'm going to just use up this Bissell deep clean detergent that I have from a long time ago. I'm using a Bissell carpet cleaner and I'm going to go over the area rug a few times because it's so big and I want to make sure to get it as clean as possible. I touched the rug to make sure I got it dry enough so it can dry quicker and this is how much I use almost the entire thing and this is what came out of the carpet cleaner. Back in the laundry room to take my cleaning cloths out of the dryer so I can put the couch covers in. From here I'm going into the entryway to tidy up that area. It's always a disaster there. We just drop our stuff when we come in and yeah so I gotta clean that up and then I'm going to shampoo the area rug there. That one was the dirtiest one. I thought it would be the kitchen but that entryway one was gross. <laughs> Trying to do is say I love you. <laughs> 
Ruby, my oldest daughter, who's 12, was also cleaning during this time and she had to pass by and she was telling me to edit this part out. If you guys are wondering why I never clean Ruby's room and bathroom, it's because that's her responsibility, not mine. I just started using this Microban 24-hour um, multi-purpose cleaner. After we had COVID, I did bleach like the entire house with actual Clorox, open the windows, all that. But during the time when I was trying to clean up a little bit here and there, I would use this. And I like it. The only thing I don't like it for is cleaning my countertops. It leaves a film. I also don't like the citrus scent. I don't like citrus smelling anything, but I gotta use it up. I caught this cute little rainbow coming in on the floor from the glass on the door. Okay, so this part I accidentally kind of played you guys because my battery died. But look at this part, super satisfying. So I'm glad I at least got this clip in here before my battery died and my other batteries were also dead. But I promise I went over this rug like so many times. You can tell from how much product I use because this was full before I started and you can also tell from how dirty the water was. Now in the guest bathroom, I'm doing the same routine that I always do, cleaning the glass, cleaning the sink, the baseboards, the toilet, around the toilet, light switches, doorknobs, changing out the trash can, and just wiping everything down and making it nice and fresh and clean for my guests tomorrow. The last thing I did for this day was pass the vacuum over the floor really quick and just put the rug back down 
and then we're gonna head into day two now this is after we did our anime night that's what we were doing the night before we finished up the last episode of demon slayer well we watched a couple of episodes of demon slayer and then finished with the last one it was fun it was nice to get together with people that actually watch anime too because normally i just watch with my kids so I'm just picking up the blankets that we used from the night before. As you can see, the couch covers are magically put back on. It was a struggle, but I got it done. If you guys notice, the background has a little bit left over from last night. Um, we weren't turning up like that. That bottle of tequila is there because my nephew, my nephew's 22 by the way, he likes to make different types of drinks with all different types of alcohol. I don't know how he does it or drinks them, but that's why they're out there. And if you notice, I didn't start in the kitchen this time because I seen people in the comments saying, why do I always start in the kitchen? So I did something a little different this time. I didn't clean that mess on camera. I did it off, but I did do some basic tidying in the kitchen at the end. I'm going in with screen mom to get the fingerprints off the tv when everyone came over yesterday i realized that the tv wasn't working for some reason which is strange because it's a new tv it turns out the electrical socket that i was using was not working and my niece sheena figured that out so sheena saved the day Now onto this little area off the entryway. It's kind of like growing into the laundry room now. This is how I buy my household items and cleaning products. I just drop them here. They're supposed to go in the garage, organized on a tower, but I haven't done that for a while. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So if you guys watched my last cleaning video, I was talking about how I couldn't get these balloons down off the ceiling. And a few of you suggested putting tape at the end of a broomstick and getting them down that way and it worked and I brought the balloons to the camera so I can pop them. I don't know what it is with people liking balloon popping. <laughs> I know my son likes it but let me know in the comments like why do you guys like to see balloon popping? This clip of me punching the box was so aggressive for no reason, but the Amazon boxes are really easy to open and I just didn't feel like getting my box cutter. I bought this shower cleaner for my shower. I don't clean my shower on camera normally because I do it while I'm in the shower. It's really big and it takes a lot of work to deep clean it, but I might do that in my spring cleaning video for you guys. Into the garage, my cleaning tower is kind of a hot mess. Uh, I did start doing the garage for the kids on the other side. I haven't shown you guys that. I did mention it in a vlog and I forgot to include that clip. But I will soon. Uh, I need some baskets and more things to organize toys out there before I do that. And since we had COVID, I couldn't go to any stores. It was like right around the time that I wasn't going to do that. Yeah, it's really dusty and dirty. So I'm just wiping it off quickly. And then I'm going to put all of my cleaning supplies and back up things that I need. I like to keep things on hand so I don't always have to run to the store or order something. And I like the way that it looks. It's perfectly fit for the clean queen.
I always get questions about my pink gloves and yes I've been gatekeeping because last time I told you guys where I got them from they were sold out for a very long time but as you can see I have a lot of boxes of them now so I'll link where I get my gloves in the description. I did already plan to give away some cleaning supplies like gloves, um, cleaning cloths, the toilet wands, the magic erasers. I had a couple leftover soaps and some wet ones and I just went ahead and put in some paper towels and bathroom tissues that did not fit. I finally have this area free and open. I don't know what I'm gonna do here yet, but we'll figure it out. The laundry room is still a work in progress. Um, my cleaning tools. I usually put those in the laundry room, but I feel like they're taking up space So I'm gonna make a little area next to my cleaning tower for those in the garage Now laundry folding I have one load of dark clothes light clothes and then all of our linens I'm not really gonna talk over this part because there's nothing really to say. It's self-explanatory I'm just folding up the laundry Wanna shake the to me and you to write our story on a shape the
bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you lock me down? I know I'm feeling something for ya. Now I'm getting started on all of these linens and throw blankets. We did switch out our blankets a lot during COVID. We stayed in my room the entire time, but I was switching out the blankets like left and right. Plus when the kids started to feel better and they got bored, they started making forts. Uh, my doorbell rang here. I'm like, who is at my door? Completely forgot that I ordered groceries. From here, I'm going into my room to organize my clothing or put them away in my drawers and just organize a little bit better in there. I cleaned my room the day before so there wasn't much to do in there. I actually wasn't planning on cleaning my room that day, but when the TV wasn't working, I was like, okay, let me hurry up and clean up my room so we can watch it in here. <laughs> but um, I try to clean up my room a little bit before I have guests come over just because it's right off the living room. There is still like the occasional laundry pile on my bed or, you know, stash of laundry in my closet or laundry room. Who knows, but that's nobody's business. These aren't my usual bed covers. I think I'm going to change them back to the tan ones that I had before. I love the pink, but I don't know, it just doesn't go with my room. So I'm washing like the pillow covers. That's why that pillow is there looking like that. <laughs> Once my linens for my room are done, I'll put those back on. Probably the next day, I'm not in a rush to like change it right away. This wardrobe in my room, I try to switch it out with the seasons and this is from like fall winter So now I'm gonna do spring. I can't believe it's gonna be March tomorrow. You guys time is literally flying by Before I'm too invested, I should probably so this is what my room looks like currently. I really didn't do much in here. I decided to leave this little bed on the ground because the girls and I were gonna watch Encanto later. We've watched it so many times already. These are all my piles of linens that I have separated to go into the washing machine and I'm headed right back to the couch to do more folding.
This is Ruby's linen closet where I keep her towels, washcloths, hand towels, extra bedding, and I think I have throw pillows up there also. There's a random water bottle in the corner because that's also where I put our empty water bottles. It was a little messy, so I just went ahead and tidied up the washcloths so I can fit everything in there a lot better. Now in my room, putting away my linens and I'm headed back to the couch again on day three to finally finish folding all of those linens. I did them after I stopped filming. I kept on washing and drying and just putting them on the couch to air dry because they don't dry all the way sometimes. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. had a few more things that I folded off camera and then I'm headed into the kids room. I did a before and after really for this part because it was just me hanging up their clothes and putting them away. The room really wasn't messy. They don't spend very much time in here. So that's what I'm doing. But I did get this clip of Emir helping hanging up shirts. He loves doing this. He's been helping a lot more lately. You guys saw him help with folding the blanket. That was kind of a big one for him. Normally he just does washcloths, but he did well. Remember when he would just like trail around behind me and continue to make the mess as I clean? That doesn't happen anymore. They still, you know, get into their little shenanigans here and there, like what they're doing in my office right now. <laughs> this was funny, so I included it. A quick vacuum for the kids room and I didn't really put in much effort making their beds because I'm pretty sure they're going to come in here later. Now I'm in my office. I don't show my office very often but I'm just vacuuming in here. It was already tidied up so just a quick vacuum and then I'm going to move on into the kitchen. This was the last basket of laundry, but I think I did a lot of laundry folding already, so I just went ahead and started in the kitchen. I'm just going to put things away, wash a couple of things that I had left over from anime night, wipe the counters down. It felt weird not to do this at the beginning of my video, so here it is now. I'm using Snowdrop because it smells so good. Not really much to do in the kitchen, just a little here and there. The counters were a little dirty because the kids were eating in there. Amir wanted me to blow up a glove. He loves doing this. That's why I have to hide the gloves from him sometimes. And he just got a fork and popped it.
Okay, so I started at 10 a.m. It's now 7.07 p.m. So that's how long I've been at my desk, like taking breaks to breathe because this has been stressful, like I said in the beginning. The end of the video was missing completely, but I was able to recover some of those files. Right now, I'm waiting on shampooing my kitchen rug to fully upload. It might not. We did lose another clip. I'm getting ready to mop all of the floors. I was going to use my O cedar mop, but then I realized I need a dirty tub to dump the dirty water in or like a dirty toilet and I just cleaned everything. So that'll have to wait until next time. But good news is the last clip of me shampooing the kitchen rug did make it in. It just imported. I'm so happy and relieved.
that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did leave it a thumbs up and i'll make more like this as always thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you all in my next video